All right, so um, just for a bonus, um, since 90% of the viewers who usually stay this long usually go, we're gonna quickly change the first beginning frames and using this back plate here. So let's start, so this is gonna be the truck. So let's just highlight all this backdrop and let's call this truck. Well, for the next one, we are going to Go up, and we're going to frame hold. We're going to frame hold 32 yet again. 32 yet again, and we're going to. Uh, we're going to go to the get the cutting out tools. We're going to copy. Now we're gonna roto this section out. And the parallax comes very quite apparent on the floor, so we're just gonna crub out this um, bushy leaves here. Primo. And then we're going to track. I think we can use, a tr I don't think we should use a track one since the parallax is way out. So we're gonna track just these this section here, this backyard section. So we're gonna merge that all the way up here. Probably move that down a bit, and let's just gather all of this details. I'm pretty sure it would, it should. Um, you know, it's almost acting as it's as if it's infinity. So let's just see how that reacts. Yeah, that's freaking out. Um, that looks white and let's go to rotate settings uh, click off the blue and the green in the settings of the tracker and let's go to just luminance 400 0 0.005 0 0.4 and let's see if this uh, behaves. Oh yeah, behaving much more now. And it's only until he goes off, so it's only gonna be like six frames, which helps us out quite a bit. And then he's off. So zero to zero nine. And let's export the stabilize, uh, not stabilization, the match move. And let's go to frame 32, merge him, click R to get back the color. And let's go to transform above the track and let's move that back into place. Let's put the mix down to 0 0.5 and let's realign it as best as humanly possible. Yep, and let's blur the shit out of this. I think that could suffice. And let's see, let's animate, let's just do everything again. Animate the scale, let's animate the rotation, and let's flick back through and see what happens. Oh shit, let's put the mix back to one. All right, so let's go to the back to the first frame and let's keyframe it back in. Uh, since it's going behind, this is going to be very interesting. Since we're going to go behind an object, we're going to have to do a block out mask for the truck to get that parallax back in. So as you can see, all of this stuff here should be behind the truck. And it's going to bring in some sweet looking parallax. And the motion blur is on here, so let's go press 1. And let's bring that down to something that mimics it. Centered, yeah, it looks better, and that motion blur fits in a lot more better. Whoop, let's go back to the transform. And let's flick through. Oh, 
I think this should be behind the... Once we grab all of this, we'll put this back under the backdrop. And on 32, we can then... Ah, so it comes off a bit. We're also going to have to animate the motion blur a bit. But I also think that's because the tracking itself has ended. Yeah, the tracking itself has ended. So let's go forward a bit more. Okay, and let's go back to the track. And let's just realign this. That is way out of whack. God damn. And we're also going to have to take out this shape out a bit more, unfortunately. And let's get rid of that keyframe here. Oh, actually, I don't think we have to. Yeah, I don't think we have to. Okay, so now that we have all of our information, let's grab all of this, Control X. Um, let's put that uh, just above the truck. And as we can see flicking through, the guy has, is now almost gonna disappear. And we can even slowly fade that off from 25 to 30 and bring all that down. As that transition look, it usually looks really dodgy from my experience. Looking back on our backplate on the truck, you can definitely see that bulge coming out. So that's a definite no-no if you're getting a pixel, per pixel perfect. So if we look at that in full, and let's save that. Always save your work. Let's go to the start and let's play that through. All right, he is slowly disappearing from the screen, from the Back Back to the Future, erased from existence. Yeah, that truck is definitely sort of bouncing at the end, but once you get rid of him in full, you'll get the gist of it. So where bounce is that bouncing? See, you really have to look at this several times to notice where that bounce is. And I think it all comes down back to the tracking. It all comes back down to the tracking. You need to try and get as stable as possible track. Track on top of your track. Sometimes it got to that point where you're just match moving over match moving. Where it's just totally and utterly still. So I think it's towards the end. So. Yeah, so right about here. Bam. So it's moving off to the right and while we're here might as well just fix that quickly aha uh -huh, I think I found the culprit yeah there we go so we're gonna have to and let's get our dope sheet out and let's just delete let's just play through that uh, so that's got rid of the um, that's got ridden of the bouncing. Um, you we are may ha we are going to have to go back to the mask and just get rid of this hard edge out since that's a definite no no. But that is the gist of it. It is um, tracking, patching, and when it comes down to it, animating the color, animating the. Grain, um, getting rid of the grain and adding the grain back onto it. Um, if you're working on pretty much anything that's feature film or TV shows, is gathering the grain of the footage that has been captured on and reapplying it onto it. But since this is just a homemade home homemade project, um, I'm not really worried about that since it's a bunch of popcorn, 60 year old guys, and just iron at it, just at the footage alone. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, walkthrough slash tutorial. Um, hope you enjoyed the new microphone. Um, it definitely helps with the uh, voice and whatnot. 
um, and this is a this was the follow up to the rotoscoping tutorial. So you can definitely use your rotos the rotoscoping tutorial and overload uh, overlay those onto the um, behind uh, over the patchwork. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.